Assez joyeux. The uh, 70th anniversary uh, was a uh, really a joyous uh, event. We wanted something festive, uh, that's what it was. Uh, the grand soiree, grand soiree for the 70th anniversary, anniversary brought together about two-thirds of what world cinema has as stars, especially creators, actors, directors, producers. It was a real festival of cinema, and this is something we can do every 25 years. Il faut déjà penser à la prochaine décennie, qui doit être à la fois uh, porteuse d'avenir, mais fraîche. We have to start thinking about the coming decade, which uh, is something of the future. It has to be fresh, like a girl or a boy. And we try to express through actions this profession of faith. This goes from the organization of screenings uh, to this business uh, about banning selfies, which seems to go against what's modern, whereas for me it's what's natural and decent. Uh, and it's really found in the selection where Thierry and his team propose a selection with major talents, but especially a wave of new talent. Qui en sont à leur premier ou leur deuxième film, c'est évidemment le cas au certain regard. This is obviously the case for a certain regard, which is 120% a discovery event and the official selection, where we have first films, second films, uh, uh, people who are back like Christophe Honoré and Spike Lee, and there are lots of things like this. But there's something fresh. This is like a symbol of this window open onto the next 10 years. On a une sélection qui vient this selection de... is really from all over the world. There's Japanese cinema, but not necessarily with the same names, even though there's a very famous name. Asian cinema in general, but with new people. Italian cinema, but not really what we expected. And this is true for the US, for South America. So there, this is something that reflects the future of the world. Mon rôle, il a été euh, exactement celui d'un président. Euh, My role was that of a president. Thierry saw the film with his team, and he wanted me to see it, and said maybe the time has come to bring Lars van Trier back to Cannes, and so he's no longer considered as a persona non grata. Like all film lovers and journalists, uh, I had witnessed what happened a few years ago, I believe it was in 2013, and I had been both shocked by what he had said and by the reactions, especially to what he had not said. And so I had a close look at the situation. This film is very powerful from a cinematographic point of view. It is rough. It addresses evil through a person and through the story. So it's a strong cinematographic and intellectual act. So I felt this was the time to say that a creator, unless he had committed a crime against humanity, deserves uh, when uh, something is uh, behind us. And so I arranged to have this invitation made unanimously by having his film screened out of competition. Cannes means today, tomorrow's talents, and the history of cinema, the fight to restore films conducted by Spielberg, uh, Scorsese, the Cinémathèque in France, and the CNC. So year after year, you can go to Cannes just to see Cannes classics to have a busy fortnight. What led uh, Thierry and me to make this decision was to say we have to go back to the initial nature of this first screening. This is respect for the film's crew. We discover the film all together, the audience and the big in the Salle Lumière and the journalists who want to see it at the same time, we see it together and the screening that we have together with friends, the family, or in a festival, 
is a collective feeling. It shouldn't be diminished, uh, tainted. Uh, it has to be a real event. I love the uh, tradition of the printed press of my youth when there were journalists who narrated the evening. Today, of course, that's going to be done instantly. But television is there, the social media, radio stations, to talk about it. But the event has to be pure, something everyone can enjoy together. The idea was to invite people from 18 to 28 to write us a letter to express their wishes and see how many we could invite. We can't invite them all. And we read these letters very attentively. They're amazing. I read 20 the first day, and it was very moving, fascinating. And uh, it's all about passion, which is a real joy. The first day, we already had 650 letters, some from India and China. The second day, we had 2,000. The third day, we had 3,500. And the teams were uh, examining what could be done. We can't have everybody. But uh, every uh, person who wrote a letter did their best to express their wishes. And there again, this is a way of opening up to the coming 20 years. On a été pendant un long moment sur une très belle affiche d'une comédienne en noir et blanc. For a long time, we were interested in a beautiful poster in black and white with an actress. Uh, it was poster was beautiful, but the actress's gesture could either have been blocking out or drawing in. Uh, it was a gesture that was ambiguous, and so there was no answer. But just a few days before the press conference, we were really running late, and somebody suggested this photograph from Pierre Le Fou by Georges Pierre, a very fine photographer. Flore Maquin uh, reworked the photograph. Uh, there was greenery in the background in the original photograph, and she added this blue sky in technicolor, incandescent, uh, if I can say, for a blue sky, but something very deep, very powerful, with uh, amazing light and power. And to see this man and this woman completely free, each one in their own car, wishing to kiss each other, it expresses joy of living, love, and the uh, desire for cinema. Un bon jury, c'est un jury qui débat. Un jury qui est à la fois passionné, qui a des élans. Uh, a good jury is a jury where there's a lot of debate uh, with passion. Uh, and at the end of the festival, uh, but uh, a good jury is a jury that meets uh, virtually every day and they see the films together and they talk about the film like most people after seeing a film. A good jury is a jury that pursues its discussion and at the end uh, the members will vote in an unexpected way with respect to their taste, their passions, their own creative vein. I've already seen this. People will agree with the conviction or the emotion of someone who has uh, uh, influenced the debate on a particular film. It's like us in a family and a couple or a group of friends. There are are specific reactions that can surprise you because that film has been shot in that way, performed in that way. It goes against my grain, but I love it. A good president is someone who is the symbol and the driver of what I just tried to express because I've seen quite a few. And someone who incites and who encourages a maximum debate while um, expressing themselves without imposing anything. When you express yourself, you give an inclination to the debate, which is really essential. And then it is uh, the majority that is defined collectively. That's a good president. Je ne connais pas de film de Kate Blanchett qui me I laissé, have uh, never différent. seen Moi, a film with femme, Kate Blanchett that left elle, me elle, indifferent. Elle, elle what I like most about this woman par, is that she expresses simply, uh, simply uh, through her career, 
her persona, her bearing. She expresses everything that women want to express and represent, especially this year. There's no need for explanation. Kate Blanchett is a woman. She's beautiful. She's an actress. She's talented. She has been a stage director. She's been a lot on stage in the cinema. She has an international career. She's a wife and mother. In short, she has a uh, very full, rich life. It's unique, like all major talents. She is all that, and at the same time, she has this bearing, this strong personality. That means she has points of view, and she represents all women. Being at the top of the steps to welcome people who had dreams for whom it's the event of the year, there's something affectionate, uh, friendly, a certain complicity since we share the same passion. And for the talents, the creators, whichever side of the camera they're on, we know their emotions, their joy, their fears too in some cases. So it's not handshakes or hugs that are indifferent. As usual, there's always something that reflects esteem, respect, admiration, and sharing. There's a kind of baby blues. The child is born, so to speak. I think it's something like what happens when a the end of the shooting of a film where the cast and crew are going to separate uh, and go home. It's a complete story. It's like uh, a shoot. It's, the story is over, uh, community life, uh, and it's just Thierry and me. It's the whole team. There's a drop in tension. Psychologically, it takes three or four days both to assimilate all this, all the information, the feelings, all that has happened and go back to family life, daily life. It takes uh, three or four days to open up to what they have to say and exchange, because otherwise you just keep on thinking the same thing.